many of our customers use vector graphics as part of their uh, design process and when you put vector graphics into a dam sometimes the previews don't quite represent what those graphics are designed to do either in print in the case of say a, a packaging process where you might have overprints and special inks and so on or on the web where you might have a graphic that uh, will become a ping or another type of transparent asset many asset management systems will generate previews and those previews will be either inaccurate f with respect to the manufacturing process as I you know, mentioned before about say special inks or overprints or those types of things or may not show that the asset is uh, will eventually become a transparent asset so let's say you put an illustrator file that's a knockout logo onto a um, into an asset management system you might not be able to see that uh, that logo in the, in the thumbnail so AEM um, is an extensible platform. AEM is the Adobe Experience Manager, and I've written uh, some scripts that can work with Adobe InDesign Server to help generate color accurate previews uh, and also to help facilitate making those knockout or you know, white ink objects much more visible and useful in DAM. So I'll just I'm going to start at the end. I've got some assets that you can see here. These are EPS files or they're Illustrator files. Uh, or a PDF and just finder is representing them and the one I want to call out right here is this uh, white logo which obviously we cannot see every one of these graphics has edges to it so you can see in this EPS which is a Photoshop EPS with a clipping path on it finder has rendered the transparency grid behind it which is great so we can see where the image is and where the transparency grid is in the back but in this case you know, it just gives you a white box, which is disappointing. We'd like to be able to see it uh, more clearly. So let's see what happens when we put these assets into AEM now that I have made a change to how AEM renders the graphics. What's going to happen when I put them in there is that it's actually going to kick off an InDesign server process. And you can see uh, InDesign servers running under here. And what's what's going on is that AEM, as it ingests these assets are taking each one of them sending them over to InDesign server InDesign servers generating a script on the fly and, or AEM has sent this uh, script over there that's going to generate these renditions on the fly and we'll post them back into AEM so it's done already with all of those and that was pretty quick and here we see the previews and you can see there's a little bit of a difference right we're generating um, the preview say of this 4k graphic right here and if I switch back to my finder you can see uh, it in this view it doesn't show that white edge to it right you can't see that there's a white outline but you can in the dam preview now um, if you look at these items these have overprints and uh, you can't see that in these previews that are being generated by finder um, and here's this logo, right? We didn't know what it was for before, but ah, now we do. And you can see it here. It's actually AARP. And uh, over here, you can see that um, the clipping path on that image has, has been rendered correctly. If we dig in a little bit deeper, you say, oh, wait, where did it go? It's not there. Well, in this view, we have a white background by default. But if you click and drag, you can see the images there as a transparent render and what we're looking at now is this rendition this thumbnail one of these thumbnails um, that are pings and those are transparent what this also means is that if you put your uh, vector graphics into AEM assets and then you use them in a, um, a, a web publishing workflow so you start to use them as images for your website then they will be rendered as transparent pings which is useful because then you can overlay them with other content um, uh, in the sites part so let's take a look first at what's going on there I've built three scripts one is called EPS init one is called EPS cleanup and one is called thumbnail export and these are used as part of the media extraction workflow in AEM we'll focus uh, when I even focus you can go and download this and look at it yourself um, but for the thumbnail export you can see that we're taking advantage of um, some work that's been done by the 
the init script as well as the CQ library that gets sent down ahead of time to enable us to talk back to or to receive assets from and then send assets back to AEM. In this case, what we're doing is we have I built a function here that's going to export a thumbnail and what it will do is build a document on the fly and then it will attach uh, some uh, settings to it to make sure that we're getting out what we want. So here's all these controls about the ping export and the JPEG export. And then it will make the various renditions as necessary. Um, and it will put onto the page this image frame. And finally, it will actually export it. So a little bit further down where it goes and sends these, these images, it generates these images and then posts them back into AEM. So that's what it does. It's a pretty simple script, does the job. Um, and it gives us results that are um, more like, I think, what our uh, customers are expecting when they're looking at uh, these types of assets. How do we make it work? Well, we need to uh, import a package. And if I pop over here for a moment and I can take a look in the package manager, which is right here, I've created a package. And you can download this uh, from my blog and uh, or from wherever you're viewing this uh, video it's probably linked there and in here we have included the InDesign scripts those three InDesign scripts that I just mentioned also a workflow model um, so these two workflow models called IDS previews are there for you this is AEM 6.4 and that's important to know what these workflow models include here it is right here damn update asset with IDS previews there's a step in here, just one step, that you can look at and then replicate uh, in other places. So it uses the media extraction workflow step. Leave that alone. And then if you look at the arguments, it defines the MIME types that it will accept, which are these vector artwork. And then it explains or tells um, which script to use. So it's going to use the CQ lib, which is the out of the box, awesome library that Adobe provides for working with InDesign server, this new EPS init script, and then the thumbnail export script, and then it's gonna clean up with that uh, cleanup script. And that's it. Pretty easy to know, or pretty easy to implement. Um, and what I've done here is I've actually modified the damn update asset workflow that comes out of the box. So where before there were some workflow steps in here specifically for processing PDF and AI, and also for using image magic. Hey, we're having a thunderstorm. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, for processing EPS using image magic, I've gotten rid of all of those steps and just replaced it with this one step called EPS thumbnails. And in here, you can see it's media extraction, which is the InDesign server tool. And then I've just duplicated exactly what I had in the other script. The one other piece that's important here is when you get down into the thumbnail generation, so process thumbnails, you need to make sure that you exclude from the thumbnails MIME all the MIME types that we just indicated for the other one. So um, AEM won't attempt to generate thumbnails from these MIME types because the expectation is we already did that using InDesign server. And that's pretty much that. If you make the change, you can then sync it and off you go. From that point forward, so long as your InDesign server is running, you'll be able to take any assets that you're building, uh, any assets that you've made that are vectors, and you can put them into AEM, and you'll get previews like what you expect. If you want to extend this workflow to generate multi-page previews, say for PDF or for Illustrator files, that's something you can also do, but I'm going to leave that to you to take care of, or maybe I'll get motivated someday and take care of it myself. Thanks so much for watching.